Hello everyone. Welcome to Learning with Friends. Today we are going to discuss linear equations in one variable. What we mean by a linear equation in one variable is an equation where the highest power of x is 1, making it linear, and there is only one variable x, making it an equation in one variable. How do we solve a linear equation in one variable? Consider the equation 4x minus 5 is equal to 95 solving this linear equation involves finding the value of x that will satisfy this equation to do that we need to isolate x on the left hand side of the equation how do we do that 4x minus 5 is equal to 95 the first thing we need to do is to take out the minus 5 from the left hand side to do that we add plus 5 on both sides of the equation This will remove minus five from the left hand side. We are left with four x on the left hand side, and ninety five plus five hundred on the right hand side. To further isolate x, we need to divide both sides of the equation by four. This will leave us with x on the left hand side, and hundred upon four on the right hand side, which is twenty five. Thus, x is equal to twenty five is the solution of the linear equation four x minus five. is equal to 95 In most exams linear equation questions come as word problems The trick is to convert the word problem into a linear equation and then solve the equation For example the sum of two numbers is 91 one number is 15 more than the other find the value of the smaller number For such questions we assume one of the quantities as x So here let the smaller number be x. Since the other number is 15 more than this number, the larger number will be x plus 15. It is given that the sum of these two numbers is 91, which means that the equation is x plus x plus 15 is equal to 91. This reduces to 2x plus 15 is equal to 91. This is a linear equation in one variable x. We solve it the way we solved the earlier equation. We subtract 15 from both sides of the equation, so that on the left hand side we are left with just 2x, and on the right hand side we get 91 minus 15, which is 76. To further isolate x, we divide both sides of the equation by 2, so that on the left hand side we are left with x, and on the right hand side we get 76 upon 2, which is 38. Since x was the smaller number, the one that we were required to find, the smaller number is 38, and the larger number is x plus 15, which is 38 plus 15 or 53. We can quickly check if we have done the right solution. 38 plus 53 is indeed 91, and therefore our solution is correct. Let's consider another example. Jack has two sixty dollars in denominations of five, ten, and twenty dollars. The ratio of the number of twenty dollar notes to ten dollar notes is two is to five. If Jack has a total of thirty notes, how many five dollar notes does he have? Now we are given that the ratio of the number of twenty dollar notes to ten dollar notes is two is to five. So if we assumed the number of twenty dollar notes to be two x, then the number of ten dollar notes would be five x. Since the total number of notes is thirty, the remaining notes would be the five dollar notes, which would be thirty minus, within brackets, two x plus five x, or thirty minus seven x. Now the number of twenty dollar notes is two x, so the value of those notes would be twenty multiplied by two x, which is forty x. The number of ten dollar notes is five x, so the value of those notes will be ten multiplied by five x, which is fifty x. and the number of 5 dollar notes is 30 minus 7x so the value of those notes will be 5 multiplied by within brackets 30 minus 7x which is 150 minus 35x we are told that the total amount that jack has is 260 dollars therefore the total value of the notes that jack holds should be 260 which means 40x plus 50x plus 150 minus 35x should be 260 We bring the like terms together. 40x plus 50x is 90x. Minus 35x is already present on the left hand side, 
and we subtract 150 from both sides of the equation so that on the right hand side we get 260 minus 150. 90x minus 35x is 55x, 260 minus 150 is 110 so that 55x becomes 110. To isolate x further we divide both sides of the equation by 55 so that x becomes 110 upon 55 which is 2. Now that we have x we can find the number of notes of different denominations that Jack holds. The number of $20 notes that Jack has was 2x which is 2 multiplied by 2 is 4. Number of $10 notes that Jack has was 5x which is 5 multiplied by 2 that is 10. And the thing that we were supposed to find, the number of $5 notes that he has is 30 minus 7x which is 30 minus 7 multiplied by 2 which is 30 minus 14 is equal to 16. Let's do a quick check on whether we have got the right answer. The number of notes comes to 4 plus 10 plus 16 which is 30 which is indeed the total number of notes that Jack has and the value of these notes is 4 notes of $20. So 4 multiplied by 20, 10 notes of $10, so 10 multiplied by 10, and 16 notes of $5, so 16 multiplied by 5. Adding these, we get 80 plus 100 plus 80, which is indeed 260. Thus, Jack has 16 $5 notes. That's all for now, friends. If you like this video, please hit like and subscribe to our channel, Learning with Friends. Also let us know in the comment section what other math topics you would like us to discuss in future videos. See you next time.